So today is a step tutorial and we will be doing buffalo. So technically the full length of this name is Shuffle Off to Buffalo, like Buffalo, New York. Like you're going to shuffle off from Manhattan to Buffalo, New York for some wonderful reason. Um, <laughs> but it's a really, really fun step and it's very versatile in that you can do it in one place or you can do it moving across the room. You can even turn with it. But today I'm just going to teach you how to execute it. I can also show you how to turn it, but don't worry if that freaks you out, okay? So, it is composed of three things, and only three things. You have a step, you have a shuffle with the opposite foot, and then you jump to it, and you cross your foot in front. So from the front view, you have a step, a shuffle, and then you jump onto it, cross your foot in front. So I'll turn around again so we can try it together. It's gonna be right foot step, shuffle, brush, brush, Jump onto it and cross this foot in the front. And when you cross it in the front, it does have a little bit of a flex to it. Now, that's traditionally how it's done. What happens with that flex depends on the choreographer. Sometimes I'm here, and then if I know the next step is super quick, I will tell people to go here to be ready for the next step. So I will tell my dancers, oh, don't cross, because you need this foot ready. And if you're over here, you're not gonna be ready to shuffle back here. That kind of thing. But we're learning the traditional step today. So we have step, shuffle, jump cross. All right, let's try the other foot. So we have step, shuffle, jump cross. All right, let's do that one more time. Left foot, left step, right shuffle, jump cross. So you can do these multiple times in a row. And again, you can move them, you can turn them, all kinds of stuff, but they do have a rhythm to them. It's one and a two, three and a four, five and a six, seven and a eight. So one of them takes two beats to do. It goes one and a two. So let's do that together. Five, six, seven, eight. One and a two. Okay, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One and a two. Okay, let's try the left foot. Five, six, seven, eight. One and a two. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One and a two. So make sure that you finish your whole shuffle before you jump. That's one of the things that gets people off the bat, is that you're here, and then you already throw your weight before you can jump, or before you can finish your whole shuffle. Don't throw your weight over. Keep it on your standing leg. Right here. Then finish your shuffle, then go. So it's a quick move, so you don't have to balance so much, but you do have to make sure you finish your shuffle before you move over to the other side. So let's do the right side one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, shuffle, cross. All right, left side. Five, six, seven, eight. One, and a two. Okay, so now we're gonna try it three in a row, and then you're gonna stamp and be ready to go on the left. So you're gonna go one and a two, three and a four, five and a six, and then you have stamp seven, hold eight. And then your left foot would be free to go. But let's just do it one side at a time real quick. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Step, shuffle, cross. Now let's try it on the left. Five, six, seven, eight. One and a two, three and a four. Five and a six, seven, hold eight. Okay, now let's try to do three on the right, right into three on the left. Okay, so one and a two, three and a four, five and a six, seven, hold eight. One and a two, three and a four, five and a six, seven, hold eight. Let's do it. Not that fast though, I promise. Great. Ready? Five. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. One and a two. Three and a four. Five and a six. Seven. Hold eight. Left side. One and a two. Three and a four. Five and a six. Seven. Hold eight. So remember that the first thing that happens 
happens is a step with the side that you are going to. The shuffle happens with the opposite foot. So a lot of times in my classes, people finish the right and they're here and they immediately feel like they need to shuffle with the, with the left foot. The first thing that happens is that you step and then this foot would shuffle. Okay? So, we learned the buffalo. We did it in rhythm. These are great things. Now I'm just going to show you how it travels and how it turns. And then you've got it, which is awesome. So, to travel it, you step out with your step. You shuffle as normal. And then you put it behind instead of go back to where your shuffling foot is. And then you step out. Shuffle. And then when you step, cross it behind. And that will move you all the way across the floor. So you can go step, shuffle, cross. Step, shuffle, cross. So it's all a matter of where you're putting your step and your jump. The shuffle does not move. You don't have to hop. You don't have to jump with the shuffle. There's nothing happening with that. It's step out, shuffle like normal, bring it behind. So let's try it on the left real quick. So you step out, shuffle with the right, put it behind the left foot. Step out, shuffle with the right foot, put it behind the left. And that is how you would go across the floor. I have to do it faster, I have no space to do more than just two. But I wanted to show you how it travels, don't worry about going that fast. Also how it turns. Let me just say the same thing I say to all my students and I've probably said in many tutorials. Turning does not change the step. And this is the kind of thing I have to tell myself in the mirror. Like I'm looking at the camera as if it's my mirror and I'm going, Jen, turning does not change the step. And why am I so stressed about it? Because I get stressed about it. The minute that somebody says, oh, now we're gonna turn it, my brain goes, mm. and all of a sudden I forget how to do the step. But just because my body's rotating doesn't mean the feet change. They, in fact, do not. So your feet are still going, step, shuffle, and across. The only difference is that you are rotating over your right shoulder to go to the right, or over your left shoulder to go to the left while you do it. So the feet staying the same, you step, immediately start turning. Don't step here, shuffle here, and then expect to get all the way around in one jump. It's not going to work. You step, you shuffle, and by about that time you're facing the back, which for you is me facing you, but whatever, you're facing the back, you're still spotting, just like in jazz or ballet class or wherever, you're still spotting the side when you turn it. And now it's just a little half turn onto the foot that was up. Because remember, it doesn't change the step. You jump onto the foot that you shuffled with, just because your turning doesn't change anything. And I'm being so overemphasizing about this because I see people make this mistake all the time in my class. They get confused. I get confused sometimes and I go, wait, 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 if it turns it, no, it doesn't. It does not change. So your step, shuffle, jump on it and that will turn you. Let's try it on the left. So you have step, already start rotating, shuffle, you're about facing the back right now and then just jump on it. Let's do that one more time. You have step, Shuffle, jump. All right, so we learned to buffalo, we learned it in rhythm, we learned how to travel with it, and we learned how to turn with it. It's not gonna be perfect today, you just learned it. But hopefully this video helped you learn a new step or review something that you really needed to. So thank you guys so much for joining me to learn the buffalo or the shuffle off to buffalo step today. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.